Hey you guys, it's Susan Morad right back here on Clever News and it appears that Donald Trump is not a fan of Meghan Markle after slamming her political choices. During a press conference on Wednesday, the President of the United States claimed that he was quote, not a fan of Meghan Markle. Ouch. Okay, so here's what went down. Recently, both Prince Harry and Meghan Markle filmed a video for Time on National Voter Registration Day, urging Americans to vote in this upcoming election. Every four years, we are told the same thing, that this is the most important election of our lifetime. But this one is. When we vote, our values are put into action and our voices are heard. This was considered a bold move for the two former members of the royal family as they are expected to not discuss politics. But after announcing in January that they would be stepping away from their royal duties and becoming financially independent, they appear to be an exception. Harry also said, quote, As we approach this November, it's vital that we reject hate speech, misinformation and online negativity. While Harry himself won't be voting as he's not a US citizen, Meghan on the other hand can and plans to, saying, When we vote, our values are put into action and our voices are heard. Your voice is a reminder that you matter because you do and you deserve to be heard. While many viewers, according to the Daily Mail, saw Harry and Meghan's comments as a thinly veiled endorsement of Biden, a source close to Harry insisted that the Duke was not referring to Trump or any other individual. According to the Daily Mail, the source said, quote, He is not talking about any candidate or specific campaign. He is building on a lot of stuff that he's said before about online communities, how we engage with each other online, rather than specifically making any political points. According to TMZ, Meghan and Prince Harry have not officially endorsed any political candidates. However, Trump did not take kindly to their message when asked by a reporter who framed it as Meghan and Harry's words being an endorsement of Joe Biden, asking Trump, quote, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle chimed in on the US election and essentially encouraged people to vote for Joe Biden. If I can get your reaction to that. And this is what he had to say. I'm not a fan of hers and uh, I would say this and she probably has heard that but uh, I wish a lot of luck to Harry she's gonna need it now this isn't the first time both Meghan and Trump have had their differences back in 2016 she spoke out saying she supported then presidential candidate Hillary Clinton because quote she's a woman but certainly because Trump has made it easy to see that you don't really want that kind of world that he's painting Trump later went on to call Meghan nasty saying I didn't know she was nasty and when it came time for the two to officially meet Meghan gracefully bowed out due to her maternity leave and while Harry did meet with the president he didn't engage much while that was about four years ago, it's obvious those feelings haven't changed much. Many have also pointed out that the two never mentioned Biden by name in their promo video, although many believe it's pretty obvious who they are urging fans to vote for. Fans online were quick to rally behind Meghan and Harry on Twitter, with one fan writing, Luckily, strong, intelligent, secure women such as Meghan Markle are not phased by whatever someone like Trump says, but she is the kind of woman that intimidates Donald Trump, and probably you too. Someone else chimed in with, Trump had tougher words for Meghan Markle than he did for Ghislaine Maxwell. But then again, some didn't quite side with the Duke and Duchess this time around. One user wrote, You know you are doing the right thing if it's not what a celebrity tells you to do. If a celebrity tells you to do something, run the other way. So this confirms my Republican vote. Meghan Markle and her prince she stole from the UK. And someone else added, Nobody cares for Meghan Markle. She is less liked than Hillary Clinton. While we know everyone is entitled to their respective political parties, we urge you to register to vote, check your voter status, and please vote this upcoming election. We've linked some resources down in the comments below for your convenience. But for now, if you want more news on Meghan Markle, click right over here for another clever video. Then be sure to let me know all your thoughts on what Donald Trump had to say about Meghan in the comments section below. I'm your host, Susan Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye guys.